members also can see the handout type in the as our physical members do that. Right. Uh, session five uh, main topic is planning and the, the sub area is the strategic planning process. Then these are the learning outcomes we should consider. First, we have to think uh, then think of the meaning of uh, strategic as, uh, perspective of management. So strategic thinking of managers. First, uh, that should be there. Otherwise, they can't uh, effectively deal with the strategic plans. Right. To do before doing anything, no, we have to think. Think and do. Here uh, also it is safe. Right, then uh, we have to uh, define strategic management or strategic planning. Uh, strategic management is the core subject area to deal with a topic like this strategic management. Later you will do. Have you done that? No. In a, another semester you have to do that. No. Right. These are the basics we discuss in uh, management fundamentals to support uh, that. It, uh, strategic management uh, can be similarized to a chess game, like a chess play. Right. It should be planned. No? Game should be planned properly, but no one mistake to win the game. You, sh you should know the basics. Knowing the basics, uh, you have to approach uh, tactfully, depending on the situation. No? Right. But uh, yesterday, our team uh, did not approach uh, tactfully. No? Right. Yeah. They didn't plan the game. They should, uh, if so, they should, they should have expected. No? There should be a one person like uh, who better win to kill the match. Then uh, they should plan in field in that. Even after that, they, they should uh, have uh, another betting plan, no? Not to, I mean, uh, give the whole uh, work to the one player as did done by the Indians, but uh, to share that, no? Among uh, three, four members, betters, to score at least around 34 to reach that. It's a management issue. In uh, game to game, game to game, no, uh, we should plan matches. It is a uh, much changeable, highly volatile, no one way speed. That's the lacking area. I, I, I feel they have the talents, enough talents, but they are not planning to use the talents uh, situationally. No, even first match uh, could be easily won. First match. But those uh, at least one by five ball should have been given at the right. Even umpires, umpires have played for them. But uh, all, all should be predicted, no? By a team, no? no there are some, some mal malpractices also can happen. Predicting that, uh, they have to approach. No? Right. Okay. Yeah, this is a different story. But we can uh, use these concepts, no? In sports as well, in games. Right, finally, uh, no, uh, third, no, third, we will uh, describe the strategic planning or strategic management process. Up to the point, uh, we discuss uh, the general plan. Assuming that uh, after that point, no, uh, we have to organization should use a general plan, what we have already discussed to uh, implement the strategies formulated. Up to that point only, uh, we will identify those uh, uh, steps involved in uh, the strategic planning process. Right, finally, we will identify uh, new trends in strategy area as uh, uh, strategic flexibility, strategic collaborations, and uh, we will also identify some major global business strategies that modern businesses should use in the global marketplace. Alternative, uh, balancing the global standardization and uh, local responsiveness. Especially these uh, giant multinational firms have been doing these things. Started with the sport oriented strategy, but they have to improve that. Most reliable firms uh, seem uh, still using the basic sport oriented strategy in the world market. All of most uh, firms. But uh, there are some other strategies they, took, uh, they should consider as uh, backward integration uh, to supply you know, the intermediary products. Good example is the garment, Sri Lankan garments. They are supplying uh, the, some ready-made garments even for global brands. 
global brands are the multinational firms who are who have uh, stepped forward no step forward to follow globalization strategy or transnational strategy or multi domestic but as sri lankas no not only using this traditional export oriented strategies they can use these uh, new strategic alliances right to supply to global brand manufacturers no right that's a good method while doing that uh, step by step they can be much independent in future no in the global marketplace that's how uh, that uh, toyota adopted the company denso started as a child of toyota now it's an independent company supplying motors sensors to giant automobile manufacturers right those are the new trends in strategy area even sri lankan firms can uh, utilize it appropriately then only you know we can prosper our economy in future step by step right uh, then uh, this is a quite interesting topic uh, strategic planning process uh, in that manner we will try to uh, discuss these things one by one but uh, this is the starting point no without uh, thinking strategically uh, managers cannot uh, deal with this right then uh, strategic thinking in the introduction session also i explained or in the previous session also i explained this no to a certain level uh, to de define or explain this one we should know the similar words for the key term uh, key word strategy or strategic thinking then what are the similar terms we should consider with the uh, strategic term long term manager should have a long term perspective or holistic perspective they should consider organizations are in the uh, organizations are open systems in uh, external environment then uh, they also should uh, identify uh, a gap between the organization's capability and the environmental requirements therefore the strategic plans should uh, be should be used to fill that gap to gain competitive advantage in different ways to cost to differentiation to niche market or entering markets but uh, these uh, three strategies cannot be used uh, independent it should be do used combined in combined way. right that's how uh, we should uh, explain and uh, the meaning of uh, strategic thinking no using these uh, similar words appropriately Without. Okay, no, you can see no. As before, right. Strategic thinking means uh, taking the long-term perspective or long-term view and to have a big picture about the organization and its uh, competitive environment. Then, uh, through that strategic thinking, managers or strategists should be able to. fit uh, the organization with the environment change in environment environment topic was discussed no in our third third lesson then we knew uh, how to adapt to the external environment using uh, corporate culture related strategies the corporate culture uh, presents how uh, the internal capacity of the organization should be used to fill that gap then and they also we identified the four alternative you know corporate culture oriented strategies that managers can use to adapt into the external environment the similar things uh, can be considered here as well right then uh, strategic thinking is important for both net profit oriented as well as not profit oriented organizations both organizations have they are strategic goals sometimes they are uh financial oriented profit oriented sometimes they are not profit oriented yeah for all organizations irrespective of their nature of business scale ownership industry size and so on all of them uh, should uh, uh, use a strategic plan right then managers in all of them should think strategical right otherwise they cannot uh, help uh, organization to perform no? right achieve their goals but uh, there is a comparison no? between uh, these two how that happens in the two for profit and not for profit organizations 
especially for profit for organization, strategic management or strategic planning should be used to enhance their competitive superior in the marketplace. Right. Then uh, for not for profit organizations, uh, it helps them to deal with the different events they organize, right, within the external environment. Right. But uh, generally, uh, both the organizations uh, and their managers should think strategically because uh, all of them have uh, some long term goals to achieve. Right. Even a uh, not for profit organization also should be able to know. Uh, to a certain level, into their competitive superiority. Then, uh, not for profit, of, sorry, profit for organizations are also organizing using different different events, right? Project management events, no? and different different events internally as well as externally. Therefore, overall, any organization, no? uh, and their managers should be strategically. Universities, schools, public universities, private. Universities, public schools, private or international schools, all of them should do small businesses. Their managers should uh, think uh, strategically. That's a must today. In future, it, is, it could be very crucial no? organization. We can't predict in future at all. But human uh, orientation is a must whenever no? it cannot be fully replaced with uh, technology. Therefore, uh, in any time, no, there should be strategic thinkers for organizations or for governments to run them no, effectively. Right. Any other questions or clarifications about this point? The meaning of uh, explanation on uh, strategic thinking of managers or strategic thinking of organizations? Any other questions? No. Don't memorize these things up. Consider the keywords. Then using your own style, own words, try to present it appropriately. Don't even follow me. Right. We are sharing no? uh, that knowledge and keywords with you. And it is up to you to uh, use them to make decisions and to I mean present them appropriate whenever it is uh, necessary. Right. Not only to pass the exams, no, but to use them for your personal life and for your career life and to develop organizations. Right. Then uh, we will uh, come to the next point uh, to define this uh, course subject area strategic management. Uh, it refers to the, this is one uh, definition only, uh, there are many uh, other definitions given. Uh, as for this definition, strategic management is same, uh, refers to the set of decisions and actions used to formulate and execute strategies, right? That will provide uh, competitively superior fit between the organization and its environment. The same thing was considered in the previous slide as well. Then to achieve the goals, organization's goals, right? Then uh, this definition uh, considers only two components. Eh? First two components of uh, strategic uh, management process. What are these uh, two components? One is strategic formulation. The other is strategy implementation or execution. But some other writers consider another pillar, another component after the implementation. What is that? Evaluation. Then uh, you can consider that question. But as for this definition, we can assume that uh, evaluation also no, uh, comes in uh, execution, execution, right. But anyhow, uh, as other management no, processes, strategic uh, management process uh, also involves decisions and actions taken no, at the top level, at the top level to formulate and execute strategies. Uh, strategies are the means or causes of actions or causes of plans used to achieve the goals, long term goals. Uh, they provide the competitive advantages to the organization to match with the changing environment, no? 
change in environment. Right. Right. Likewise, no. Uh, you can uh, come up with a new definition also, no. Using these uh, terms as well as considering other terms I refer. Right. Then later, no, you will do that when you do start uh, doing that subject. Right. I am not doing that. Another lecturer will do that. But uh, do remember, no, these things as we discuss in this uh, whole. Uh. Then, as I mentioned. Uh, uh, it can be similarized to a chess game, no? Chess game play, right? You know better than no? playing chess, better than me, no? Playing chess, I, I know uh, to survive that. Only then I know the game, uh, but uh, I can't uh, compete with others, right? Only for the knowing purpose, I did that as a hobby, not even as a hobby, just to know that. But I can't swim. Now I like. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, learning, swimming also, no? Those are the basics, no? We should know, we should do, to safeguard our life even. Right. Then, uh, strategic management, no? Is going to safeguard the organizations, not to fall into the hot water. Right. Then, uh, they bring, uh, it brings a uh, competitive superior. Uh, for the business, no? Right. But managers uh, should be able to use that as a chess game. No one will speak. They know the, knowing the basics, no? They should, uh, right, uh, play the game appropriately, yeah? To uh, gain competitive advantage. Right. Then, uh, using uh, this uh, subject area, managers can. Uh, answer these uh, critical questions, right? One is what? What kind of changes and trends are happening no? in the competitive environment, right? The managers can answer this question to strategic thinking, right? Then uh, after that, uh, they should know their own strength and weaknesses, then the same of uh, competitors as well, right? Then after that, they should know uh, what are their customers, the consumers, no? Then knowing the customers, that means um, they should understand customer needs and goals, their expectations, <laughs> right? Then after that, they should be able to satisfy them, no? Through their products or services, most efficiently and effectively than competitors, as we defined, no? The management before, right? Then uh, knowing this area, they also should know how would be the future, no? Future of the industry marketplace and how to change uh, or how to grow uh, according, grow up according. Right. These are the critical questions uh, to be answered no, by using a subject like strategic planning or strategic management or strategic thinking of managers. Okay, no? Uh, all these are clear, clear view. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, then uh, we come to the next point, no? the important point. Uh, to look at this diagram uh, as the strategic management process or strategic planning process. But as I mentioned, uh, the right part of this can be done with the general plan or functional plan, operational plans. Right, we will consider this one up to this point no? to identify the four drivers, no? to four drivers or critical successful factors that managers uh, used to execute the strategies. What are these critical successful factors or key drivers to implement uh, strategies? Leadership, corporate leadership, corporate culture, structure, human resource or people, effective communication. There are some other uh, factors as you know, financial strength or technology, information, right? Those are also critical successful factors. That's the last point. What is the starting point of uh, this process? The organizations uh, should be able to evaluate their current mission, goals, and strategies. For that purpose, they have to do an environmental analysis, environmental scanning to get into the both environments, internal and external. 
for that purpose uh, most organizations uh, willingly uh, sorry knowingly or unknowingly do should do a sort analysis sort analysis right then uh, sort analysis helps managers to uh, scan or analyze both internal and external environment by analyzing or scanning internal environment through a sort uh, they should be able to derive strength and weaknesses right uh, that question appeared there no right then uh, through the ot analysis they should be able to derive opportunities and threats right right then based on that they have to present no or define or redefine mission or new mission goals and they should know the grand strategy for grand strategy they should uh, deal with uh, to the to deal with the uh, coming uh, three or three five ten uh, twenty years but uh, today uh, managers cannot predict uh, the future no with the with the loan uh, prediction early i think we consider the five year period as the shortest time period for the strategic no management but now it has been further short for one or three for three years three years even japanese organizations uh, uh, are using no three year plans so now and other western organizations are also using three year plans not uh, five year plans minimum right then based on the grand strategies and uh, mission uh, they have to co formulate uh, corporate level strategies and functional level strategies as per our previous uh, topic but here there is another uh, level level of uh, strategy formulation comes what is that business level yeah if the organization uh, has a different businesses no or different uh, projects then uh, such organization should be able to uh, consider no this level as well business level strategy formulation as well between corporate level and functional level sbu another term is the sbu sbu level strategic business uh, unit level like uh, there are group companies no in sri lanka as well no i mean uh, different sbus right elis uh, john kills selling for group then uh, brown school there are many groups no even eat group uh what is cw mackey eight consultants yeah it's a very good thing you know for having uh, different business units right then uh, these organizations no uh, should be able to identify business level uh, strategies as well to support their corporate level strategies then for those organizations functional level strategies should uh, support the business business level not directly the corporate level that's the order right? you see here but if the organization has only one business they, they need not to consider the business level they can uh, consider the functional level to directly support the corporate level right that's how uh, this uh, diagram no, should be understood as a strategic planning process or strategic management process right then uh, in other slides uh, these points are displayed no briefly one by one then uh, we should know the meaning of a strategy or strategies right earlier also i explained uh, a strategy is a plan of action a course of action describing how to allocate resources no in activities and how to deal with the environment and how to gain competitive advantages in order to achieve the goals corporate goals right it's a standing plan no? strategies are standing plans no? as for writers or single single use plan standing standing plan or single use plan that standing plan but uh, operational level strategies single use 
that's how we should consider no? these strategies right then uh, another keyword goes there no in this box redefining mission and formulating goals the organization uh, should be able to deal with the grand strategies as well then what what's the meaning of grand strategies or grand strategy they are the high level strategies no shape in the business course of business they are dissimilar to the tactics used at the tactical level middle level therefore they much focus on achieving the long term goals of the organization no then uh, what are the key ex uh, examples for grand strategies yeah market development or market growth strategy product development or product growth strategy turn around then uh, liquidation the last one right now uh, these days i think eh, the most organization in the world uh, are using the turnaround strategies turnaround strategies to face this uh, crisis situation market downturns increase cost of supplies no they are using turnaround in the forms of cost cutting selling assets using new technologies like that no turnaround strategies and uh, another one recently i think that uh, amazon uh, net amazon managers also did that cut down jobs cutting jobs the report downsize corporate uh, downsizing are the different forms of uh, turnaround strategies no right that you know uh, the meaning of uh, market growth strategies it is to enter into new markets using a niche market or target markets product development you know no uh, it deals with uh, introducing a new fully new product or changing the current features of a product no right innovations liquidation is closing down divesting if the business uh, uh, incurs a uh, huge losses ne? again and again the last option from is this no liquidation but uh, this should be done uh, carefully no? if it is known by competitors and others it is not a good uh, for the brand and company name no right therefore not at the first place no this should be done this should be done after considering several uh, chances but uh, unity bhavi a liquidated there is uh, ice cream factory no ice cream walls ice cream factory uh, thank you it's a good example uh, during my childhood also i knew that no when i was this fully nice uh, came to know that till i remember it was in a vayangod area i don't know what happened to those buildings like the solar no? To another, it had a labor strike. Finally, that went wrong. No? Labor strike. Now, most companies, especially small, small business organizations, not to, I mean, uh, manage the cost. They are doing a lot of different uh, types of turnaround strategies: selling plants, selling lands, buildings, factories, cutting jobs. and other strategic alliances are also ne, uh, considered under turnaround change in the current uh, processes or methods of doing the business not turn turnaround it is not bad the game no you know today the reason right then that's how these uh, two terms are uh, strategies and grand strategies should be known uh. another term for the turnaround is uh, retrenchment no retrenchment strategy retrenchment retrenchment another for liquidation is uh, divestment closing down divestment liquidation is only right 
then uh, for BS in A level also, I think you studied uh, this one, no? Thought analysis. The BS syllabus also, no, it is there for A levels. Right. Uh, so it is uh, careful, no? Assessment of uh, internal and external environment with uh, SWOT analysis, no? Strength are the positive internal characters, no? Uh, exploited by managers to achieve the strategic goals. What are the examples for strengths of an organization? The positive internal characters? Yeah, strong culture, flexible structure, competent managers, happy workers, financial strength, brand name, goodwill, brand name. Those are the things, no? some exam major examples. The weaknesses uh, should be identified easily, you know, knowing the strength, the opposite aspect, negative aspects, negative internal characters, hindering or restrict, restricting, restricting uh, the performance, blocking the performance. Frequent changes in the managers, uh, then uh, demotivated employees, poor HR, poor financial strength, no brand names. Increase uh, uh, sorry, uh, poor traditional technologies, uh, poor culture, rigid organizational structure, poor quality of products, increase uh, cost. Ne? Those are the weaknesses internal weaknesses. Interdepartmental disagreements, ne? conflicts. But conflicts are not always bad. Huh? There are positive conflicts also. Right. Then examples for opportunities, no? seen outside. Good government policies, no policies, uh, increased population, uh, then uh, good education in the country, no uh, positive labor market, then good infrastructural facilities, no then uh, good national culture or societal culture. Right, uh, some opportunities, no? Then uh, access to the global marketplace. Increase the uh, FDI for in direct, direct investment and local investments. Stable political stability, ne? stable political environment. Good uh, natural resources. We have the enough. Right, then all. Uh, Opportunities, ne? if uh, presented uh, in negative form, can be considered as threats. But competition, how to consider competition? It is a threat or an opportunity. It has both ne? aspects. Competition has both. Therefore, we should not uh, give competition as an example for either opportunity or threat. Purely, it's a neutral law. There should be a certain level of competition. No? Then only companies uh, think of improving quality to satisfy the uh, customers, stakeholders. It is not bad. But uh, natural ne? disasters, natural events like COVID, no? economic downturns, increased cost of supplies, uh, shortage of power, energy, uh, poor education or poor labor, labor force, uh, then uh, political instability, uh, yeah, poor government decisions uh, all can be considered as uh, some major examples for threats which uh, prevent no, the organizations performing well. Now in Sri Lanka, most uh, mostly we see now uh, threats. Threats are always there. It is a common problem for the entire world, but uh, compared to other countries, we have 
we are we are facing you know sort of threats challenges then opportunities but we should be able to convert them to opportunities much step by step now uh, more worries are coming no worries are coming the inflation has slightly gone down people are working physically more people are working therefore i think uh, these things uh, would uh, come to the history on in future soon but we have to work contribute to the society in our individual capacity we should not wait others do small small things that should be uh, done no it have been forgotten by us small small things respect others no that's a very important thing. respect in others and we have to plan use plans as much as possible we should learn even from mistakes learning from mistakes we should help others as much as possible we should think as a sri lankan no? think the holistic as sri lankan we are ever we live work we should think as sri lankan right these these uh, small small things next should be done now you said that we did your level do that then uh, big things will happen naturally right education is the number one not to do these things education not only the school type education but uh, social social learning is also important no can start learning from our family family hood then uh, through nursery even at university level no we can uh, learn lot of new thing not only the subject matters right then uh, through these programs also we should learn a eh, lot of uh, uh, skills and uh, we should be able to uh, change our attitudes past attitudes that is called unlearning eh? unlearning right uh, online members can see the things no and uh, they can hear as well right then after that after the sort analysis no through the sort analysis uh, organization should be able to uh, formulate no these uh, three levels of strategies but in the previous lesson we, we didn't consider strategies in a similar way we considered plans and goals but here the topic name is strategy planning process then instead of considering goals and plans yeah we use in the previous session here we have to use the term strategies that's the difference the difference but uh, all are related no that is uh, strategy is another version another mode of plans strategy is not a uh, different thing no strategies are also the a mode of plans a type of plan not type a mode kind of plan then uh, they have to consider corporate level strategies that answers uh, in what kind of business the organization is in what the primary purpose or mission based on the mission it should be known then uh, if uh, it then engages in uh, different businesses right then uh, it should uh, formulate business level strategies as well to understand how to compete among different businesses right to increase the corporate profitability market share right and so then to support the business level strategies if the organization has different sbus then uh, the already known no? functional level uh, plans and strategies can be used at the departmental level right the role of functional level strategies here is what to support the business level strategies no right in uh, different functions like production marketing uh finance accounting research and development hr it imports exports administration operations and so on. right that's the role of uh, different functions no they do they are there they helps uh, they help uh, strategy maybe 
strategy mapping at the functional level or to enhance the sub optimization of different uh, divisions no sub optimization Then uh, can you read this point and say what I have included here? Can you carefully look into this one? The corporate level strategies. I will redo that. But uh, can you carefully look into this? But it uh, goes, moves to the next slide there. So it means the two slides there. So. Can you look into the slides uh, numbers 11, 12, and 13? To say, see the relationship of these. They deal with the corporate level strategies. What has been mentioned here? The next level, no? Business level. Yeah, so this. Uh, Organizations can use or managers can use these uh, three approaches, no? Three approaches, namely using the portfolio strategy, using the BCG metrics, and using a diversification strategy to deal with or to understand their corporate level strategy. Right. These are the three approaches they can use alternative or in a combined way. First one is what? Using the portfolio strategy. Then using the BCG, BCG matrix. One consultant firm, no? American traditional consultant firm has introduced Boston Consulting Group, BCG. It has introduced this. Then uh, using the diversification. That's the riskiest strategy, no? Right. Then uh, What's the meaning of uh, using the portfolio strategy approach? It applies to organizations having different SBUs, different uh, businesses. In financial management, also, I think a similar strategy for no? portfolio. That is with investment, having a mix of investment in different places, different tools. But here, here, the meaning of using a portfolio strategy is what? Having a right balance among the, of the performance among different SBUs the organization has. That's the meaning. Right. Then for that purpose, they can use uh, different grand strategies. Grand strategy. Together. Eh? If any uh, ongoing loss making, then they can uh, think of uh, using the last one. Liquidation, right? That's the meaning of uh, using this first approach, no, of uh, portfolio strategy to deal with the corporate level strategies, right? Right. They should be able to have a right balance mix of business divisions called SBUs, no, right? Then uh, and and SBU is has a unique, no, typical business mission, product line, competitors, markets. Compared to other SBUs of the company, right? Then the Unilever. I mean, uh, we were not in its uh, mission, eh? mission statement given there. 
we noted different SBUs in Tando as a different product lines. Product lines. What are the SBUs uh, Unilever has? Food, food category. Then personal care category. Then detergent. Detergent. These are different SBUs. It has, but uh, they are related. Uh, see, related. Right. But uh, these have different customer needs and modes, no? Right. And the foods, uh, it has uh, tea, then uh, margarine, no? Those things, no? And uh, other things. In uh, personal care, it has uh, shampoo, uh, toilet shops, those things. In detergents, sunlight is a good brand, you know, number one. Then other life type boy. Time to time, uh, it tries to, I mean, uh, develop products, ingredients, you know, in these uh, lines, similar lines. It's called uh, diversification. Sorry, uh, not diversification, differentiation. Yeah. Therefore, uh, Unilever is using portfolio standard, not the diversification. The RBC, I mean, uh, conglomerate and uh, type net diversification is, but it uh, may be considered in uh, related diversification. Right. But I am not going to discuss uh, those uh, different aspects of diversification here. When you do strategic management, then, then and there you will do it. But here we will identify these basic things in management fundamentals. Uh, right. Right. Then uh, this is the another, the other option that organizations having different businesses can use, no? Utilize. That is the BCG matrix. Yeah. Then uh, the, as for this uh, matrix, there are two sides, ne? In one side, uh, what we see? In the horizontal side, sorry, vertical side, what we see? The nature of the industry growth or the market growth, where the organization is in, business is in, it can be the garment sector, ne? or the education, or printing, uh, plantation, cargo shipping, or whatever. Ne? The market for industry growth rate. When we scale that, we can uh, scale it as low and high or medium. Right. Then uh, in the other side, what we see? The organizations or SBU's position in that market. That is called uh, uh, relative market share, right? It is uh, considered with the cash generation capacity of the business, no? But as we scale market growth to industry growth as low and high, similarly, we can rate the company SBU's position also no, as low and high or medium, right? Then uh, looking at these four positions, we can identify four scales. We can identify four positions of a SBU, no? Right. The best position is this one, no? where the industry is also high, industry growth uh, is also high, and the market position of the SBU is also high. That's called star position. That's the best position. Then all SBUs uh, should be able to no? manage in, around this point. Right. The worst position is the right opposite one, where the two situations are very low very bad verse that's called dog position right then if uh, they cannot be i mean uh, changeable modified then uh, last option is what to close down them, right as you never did earlier no it the got to its ice cream factory right then uh, the other positions are good but uh, there is a one problem no there is one problem here what's the problem the company's spu position is very good but uh, Company is not in a very good uh, industry now. Industry is uh, facing uh, uh, some problems, no? Right. Therefore, as a company, it cannot be done, rectified. At the policy making level, it should be rectified. Right. But uh, cash cows are generating more care no? for the business. Right. But uh, as for the external environmental changes, that sector or the industry can can be facing a lot of problems. A good example, the uh, Sri Lankan construction industry now, facing a lot of problems. Construction, cost of supplies, eh? has gone, gone up. 
Yeah, but uh, there can be a still a good uh, uh, cash cows no? in the business like uh, access some kind of long term. No? Yeah, market. But the, for them, uh, the current problem is what? The market growth rate, rate no? industry growth rate in the construction industry is very poor. Right. Then another one is the opposite one is the question mark. What's the problem uh, this has? Industry is good, but uh, company's uh, cash cow position, eh? the business uh, SBU's cash cow position is doubtful. Therefore, it is said as question mark businesses. Can you give an example? Today, I think the telecommunication industry is good, no? There are good demand for their software, but uh, there can be companies uh, which cannot be capitalized. Right. Due to, I mean, uh, uh, poor HR. Sometimes there are these uh, expert ne? software developers might uh, go on ne? other other countries for high salaries. They, they may be facing a shortage of that uh, engineers, software engineers. Yeah. Then uh, such a business can be considered with the business having uh, question mark position. Right. Mm -hmm. That's how these uh, concepts should be understood. Right. You need not to go to a campaign you know, to uh, identify them, but you, you can uh, assume them. The logical uh, explanation is important. No? You can assume that. But these assumptions uh, can, can be working you know, practically, truly. They can be happening you know, truly even now, nowadays. Right. Third approach ne, used by organization to deal with their corporate strategies is what? Using the diversification. Uh, it is the most uh, risk, riskiest ne, strategy, very most difficult uh, strategy. What's the reason? Here, uh, the two sides ne, should be presented newly. Two, two sides. Uh, using a diversification, the company should be able to or the business ne, should be able to introduce a new product to a new market. Both are new. Right. Therefore, it is uh, it involves uh, risk, risky decisions. Ne? Right. But uh, companies have done these things. No? Most companies have done these things. A good example is the Nokia's ne, current ap appearance uh, moving from change in its initial industry from uh, mill, ne? mill, timber mill or mill, mill industry to phone, cell phone manufacturing. Even Toyota, ne? Toyota did, did a similar thing, did a similar thing. Initially, Toyota business uh, appeared in the Japanese handloom industry, handloom. The son uh, of the father ne? went uh, to Europe and America and uh, in early Mid of uh, 1930s, he started Toyota business. Automobile. But the first vehicle uh, got uh, damaged no? when it, it was uh, moved to the showroom. Right. But they didn't give up. Give up, improved no? continuously. Now it is the number one, still the uh, number one automobile seller in the world, automobile market, Toyota. It's a transnational company. It uh, moved from uh, again mill, ne? mill, mill industry from a mill, but uh, mill is handled. Uh, I think Nokia uh, had uh, paper mill, or wood mill, wood mill, na? wood, wood mill, wood or paper both. Then in 2013, uh, Microsoft acquired Toyota, Nokia, no? Right. Later again. Uh, Spanish company uh, reacquired that. Yeah, that's a new trend, no? In strategy area, strategic alliances are happening, no? Appropriate. Even now, recently I heard that uh, in uh, Sapuchastan area, there was a popular, not popular actually, not popular among us, but maybe popular among the industry players. Uh, it had a very, I mean, hard time manufacturing. 
Cardan Sotai manufacturer, ne? that is called Freddy Bog, Freddy Bog in Sapugaskandi area, is to uh, Alumix. Recently, it was acquired by uh, Yokohama, Thai American, Japan, Japanese uh, multinational, Yokohama. Then, uh, before that, I think another popular business, uh, traditional business here, Lodestar. Lodestar was acquired first by a uh, Canadian company, Camso. Then, uh, recently, it was acquired by uh, French by manufacturer, uh, Michelin. That's a new trend. But uh, when you look at the uh, local business aspect, its uh, independence and uh, lucrativeness, uh, it's a threat. Threat for those companies, local companies. It's a kind of dumping, dumping uh, strategy used by these uh, giant multinational firms to acquire and to keep them uh, run the business for a short, short period of time and again uh, sell out. It's not good for developing countries. It is not good. It's called dumping, dumping strategy. Not ethical, you know. It's not ethical. When you look at uh, different aspects, that is not ethical. But uh, using that power, power of uh, technology, power of financial strength, those companies are using. Sometimes they head down, head down, head down. Thing is that your local companies are doing that, head down. Thing. Those are not ethical. But companies do not, because I said the strategic management can be considered as a chess game. Chess game. Right. Then uh, the portfolio strategy, BCD framework and diversification uh, strategy can be used no? uh, mainly, mainly to deal with the cooperative strategies. Sir. Then I shall have a break for about 10 minutes. Otherwise, uh, but continue without a break should be boring to you. You can grab. Yeah, then uh, we will have a short break for about 10 minutes. Coming back, we will continue from this point. After that, we will have our quiz. If uh, we have further time, we will study a case also similar to this. Okay, online members also can have their online online break, huh? virtual break. For about 10 minutes. Are there newcomers today for this class? There should be, no, one or two, yeah. Then uh, tell your names and registration numbers correctly. Yeah. During the quiz. At that time, you can take the name with initials and the class uh, digits of the registration of Shrinvai.
<laughs> yeah, it, it is going there. Um, 
Ah, tu non mi dici, ma cosa mi dici? Oh. Eh, eh. Ai, oggi non mi ha detto che ti è. Ah. Guarda, mi ho capito che ti è venuto a dire che ti è venuto a dire. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Ok, Jabur Jabur, ilang lagi chapter sebulan deh. Ini chapter ini kita jangan dulu nih, betul ke? Pada teri nih, tuh dia nol dia nih, kan? Pomatik. Abah yo, pom kerana anti meter minyak dana ter sebulan deh outline kerjaan ni. Oh, research ni, you know lagi juga muka tu, you theoretical contribution ni kaya, tapi kalau ni kaya muka tu kira. Eka target kerana dia nol je, nol dia nanti tu, pada kira. Nah, nah, kami yang tu ni dah, kami dalam mana narrative sendiri ada ni, pen mereka ke yang luar ni, kalau tu ni ada descriptive sendiri ada ni tu lah, ya tu. Memang ya, okay, dan di laga ini, Palawan ini ke sebagai chapter yang kedua, Dewi ini kan kita pasti discussion ni, kan, kampi akan lah. Oh. इतना कुछ रिसर्च रिसर्च क्वेश्चन्स हो रहे हैं कल्चरल डायनेमिशन्स ये ठीक है बलान वगैरह दिन दिन वो ऐड करने के लिए ओरिजिनल के देखिए कल्चर अदर फैक्टर्स उस इमेज इमेज जो इन्द्र बोलो आर लीडरशिप पर इमेज आर इमेज जो इन्द्र बोलो हम्म हम्म अन्य वाले दिन दिन ओरिजिनल के पिक्चर Kita ada detik jari juga kita agak terindu dan mama kiri pakai dua ni dalam ni lah. Ani detik jari ni, ni kodak ni. Atau tuh mana hari ni ada kodi kaya lah, kalau kan dia. Arab kita tu dia tuh, orang nanti ni ni ayer ayer kerana ni orang. Alu dia kawin itu. Orne, orne, emo orne, emo orne. Diskrepsi itu ada dua macam. Eka batam ni kian ni. Oh, emo tu mana macam? Maka tu biar di ni mana? Praktikal itu ada. Bibi, bibi ni. Ini dendon, ini dendon. Itu betul. Yang kita ke family orang tuh betul. Mana ada ni? Cultural values, co cultural values. So nama di kemak dia ni boleh. Ikan general values. Tapi ke, ikan dah ni news adaptation lebih sulit untuk orang. Angkat dia ni. Tiup nama dia. Mungkin sebab itu United ada kan? 
strong culture and history. And you can't do that. We can compare it to the young one. Some are not from a super big deal. Some are values. They came to some other things. I'm a big guy. And I'm a big guy. And it's a big guy. And it's a big guy. Literature contribution. Finally, so the unknown, eh? अंतिम इतने पास से लीड है नहीं बिलान मलिबन मांच नहीं तो मलिबन ने कि अभी यार इतनी अफसोस हम क्या नहीं जीवक का इतनी बार वापस ना कर करा इतना वाटा पाउंड पाउंड रोल ने तो वाके मलिबन ने कि वैरी एक उम्दा तो दिए नहीं तो आर कटवाड़ा मांच मांचे के ना मिलाएंगे नहीं तो ना नहीं ना मुझे मांच के ऊपर डाल मुखदेना अन्य इतने एक अलग अनुभव एक अध्ययन में आ जाएंगे सामान्य वचनों लिंक के लिए अधिक तो चाहे लिंक कर लगी आना है ओवरराइडिंग ओवरराइडिंग कल से कल तीनों में एक तरफ साफ़ शो ये थोड़ा ध्यान आलू ते में बुलो के विवाह के अन्य लीडरशिप डेवलपमेंट पर तो नहीं बोन की नोट वाला है टेलीविजन Practicing managers, integration in the program, when it is not. They can be on the missile among the people who can be put on the other side. Practical data and the other side. So, that's right. Well, mine may be not in an outcome, I think, but you know, we didn't say, 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 एक तो हमें कि ये तो वाला देख गारंटी का भी यही करेंगे यानि जो मिसेज तो पाएंगे और पॉइंट एक्स की बात है तो देखा कैमरों टेक किया नॉट है मैंने इन लाइफ में किया नॉट लिविटी है किया नॉट पसंद है सेलेक्ट किया टेक किया तो ये हमारे रिसर्च टेक के मार्टिन में टेक किया तो ना ये वो कुछ दवा करते थे � क्या मगे इधर मामा की वो बाल्टी टीचर में क्या नहीं लगा टीचर 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 आप लोगों को आता ही नहीं पाते हैं यार तो मैं आते नहीं आज मैं आईएसटी में से टेस्ट से ना देने ही ना 
అలాగే గివన్ దట్ ని ఎస్టెన్షియల్ లిటరసీ ని దాని గురించి నాకు ఇక్కడ ఉంది కందరే కాలే బహున మొన్నకోడింది <laughs> అంతిమ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఓకే హలో ఇస్ దేర్ క్వశ్చన్ యా వీ హావ్ కమ్ బ్యాక్ యా ఐ యామ్ జాయినింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఆన్లైన్ కెన్ యు హియర్ మీ సర్ ఆ యా వి హాడ్ హాడ్ ద బ్రేక్ నౌ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు కంటిన్యూ yes uh, just wanted to uh, highlight just uh, i'm joining for the first time i'm in the, for the live lecture yeah uh, actually i join in in the middle i'm in the for the class uh, so the, for the quick... voice level let's speak ah yes uh, i have joined in the yeah, middle say no he's speaking now. yes sir correct uh, sir yeah. uh, for the quizzes uh, how do i manage uh, i mean you are doing the daily quizzes so i have missed i think 3 uh, 4 weeks uh, back no uh, i can't hear yeah there is a noise also from the class there uh-huh. can you please hear yes sir just wanted to know sir uh, you are doing the daily quizzes right oh should i increase my output level of the mic <clears throat> do you hear me sir properly uh, now okay i yes sir uh, just want to ask from you uh, the daily quizzes you are doing the day daily daily quizzes the questions you are asking them the learning outcomes are uh, revision questions yes sir yeah those those are not the assignments uh, i think uh-huh. i am giving uh, these uh, revisions questions after a lesson uh, you to i mean into your writing uh writing no sir the, the quizzes sir, the point wise uh, you are putting some marks per day uh quiz daily quiz yeah you you want to show the answers uh, to me no sir i'm just asking the for the past few lectures you have done some uh, quizzes right uh, from learning uh, yes, outcome yes, you are yes. asking yeah you didn't come yeah so how can i manage sir, that one how could you how could i manage that one i mean uh, then uh, here in after try to participate Continue. sure sure i will i'll be continuously participating because i have joined in the middle uh, i mean for the past ones uh, what should i need to do uh, that of course uh, i plan to have uh, 10 quizzes on 10 days uh-huh. then out of 10 uh, depending on the account uh, the, the students have i try to uh, uh-huh. allocate individual marks for them that's the normal procedure Yes, but uh, i have given another team assignment also you are uh-huh. a member of a particular team no yes i have joined one team uh... yeah that assignment brings uh, 30 marks out of 40 total uh, given for the continuous assessment uh, then uh, you need not to worry uh, 
about uh, you can't uh, have the maximum for the quiz. Okay, sure. So I'll be uh, joining continuously. I mean, I earn uh, six, six, uh, five, six, five, six, seven marks for the quiz. Sure, sir. Sure. When we complete. Okay, sir. Thank you. Then try to, I mean, uh, yeah. contribute to the team assignment also. From that, uh, you can uh, have at least uh, 20 marks now, minimum. Yeah. Yeah, then uh, that 20 and this uh, 5 or 6 uh, becomes uh, 26 to 25, no? Out of yes. 40, that is enough. The minimum is uh, 16, no? Minimum requirement for the continuous assessment is the 40%. That is that that comes as uh, 60, 1, 6. Okay. Okay. For the exam, uh, 24 minimum. But don't right. target these uh, lower limits. Target yeah, that's what I want to ask from you whether I can. Uh, uh, yeah, I can give the. I mean, after completing the past lectures, shall I give the learning outcome uh, if you are free after the classes even? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, then. Uh, Try to balance in that paper. Okay, sir. Right. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Minimum uh, point is uh, to have forty percent marks, no? Forty from both uh, parts. That is another condition, no? It is not uh, considered for our normal university undergrads, but because the source, uh, they have to show minimum forty. But you have that condition also. One way that is better, I think, even in university, that should be applied. The minimum condition as well. <laughs> then try to, I mean, participate in the upcoming officials uh, as much as possible, no? without uh, being absent. Yes, then, sir, uh, sure. Can, uh, we'll uh, continue. Stay around five, six, seven. But there are members who have come on uh, all all days to be complete on uh, ten days. Right. Then these are the three three approaches, no? That uh, organizations can uh, use uh, to deal with the corporate level strategies. Uh? Then, as for the diagram, we have to consider the business level strategies. Like. Uh, Organizations have different businesses uh, as SBUs. Uh, to analyze the SBU's uh, contribution uh, for the whole business of the organization or to the corporate goals of the organization, then uh, I have included this uh, quota model, five forces model. Right. Even a single business uh, organization can use this. The purpose of uh, using this is not even actually. Uh, to analyze the business level strategy, but to analyze the industry or market competition, market competition. Right. Then uh, all organizations have at least a single market, no? But if they are having uh, different SBUs, they have to consider different uh, SBU markets differently, one by one. But uh, this is a common framework introduced by Porter uh, to use as a uh, a model to analyze the industry competition or market competition. If there are different SBUs, no, this should be used uh, one by one. No? The same should be used for them one by one. Separately. Right. Even a small business organization can use this, no? Use this small. Small group like ship can use this. The main purpose of this is you no know, to analyze the market nature, competition, industry competition. Any business now belongs to an industry no, or market. Right. Then uh, in center, what what we see the rival eh, rival nature of the current competitors, current players in the market or in that industry. Right. That can be seen uh, right as very high low looking at the impact of the other four forces, yeah? appearance of the other four forces. Right. One force is what? The new entrants, yeah? number of new entrants to the market for the industry. If it is high, 
the degree of the rivalry is also high. See high. If low, the degree of rivalry among players is also low. There's a positive, strong relationship, progressive relation, correlation. Right. New entrants, then eh? uh, how to identify new entrants? Newcomers. Right. Newcomers to the same, eh? right? Uh, now, even in the education sector, you know, it is very high in future. You know? The government is going to establish uh, private universities. You know? right. In education sector, I think rivalry among current players and then players would be high in Sri Lanka. Therefore, national universities face the, this problem. This is not bad, actually. No, I also prefer to have a competition. Right. Then we also no, do a lot of uh, innovations in our products or processes in human resources as well. In uh, infrastructural facilities as well, not to power with the infrastructural facilities introduced by the private organizations. The same will appear in the healthcare sector in Sri Lanka as well. No? Now, there are many private uh, hospitals or uh, what is called channel centers no? open, expanding their businesses. Right. Then, uh, those are examples for the new entrants. Right. Then, uh, next one is uh, bargaining power of buyers or customers or consumers. Right. If this is high, then the degree of the rival nature of uh, current competitors is also high. Another positive relationship is there. Right. If uh, the company is in a perfect competitive marketplace, no, then uh, this happens. The more bargaining power goes for the buyers, not for the company. But if it is a monopolistic organization, then we can see that in other way. For duopoly or oligopoly, then uh, more bargaining power can uh, be seen with the company firm. But in a perfect competitive marketplace, no, it is seen with the customer side, consumer side. Right. Then uh, threat of us uh, substitutes, products or services, substitutes. Imitable products or services. No? If this is high, the rivalry or competition among competitors also high. Right. Because customers can uh, shift no? with the sub substitutions. Can you give uh, an example for that? The increase uh, substitute products. In the beverage market, we see eh? beverage market. Beverage market. Or food market, there are a lot of uh, substitutes. No, we can use uh, as breakfast, no, lunch. Even in beverage, now we earlier we had only black tea. Now there are green tea also, green tea, green tea. Then uh, even uh, the beverage, ne, items are presented in different ways. No, as uh, mega bottles, uh, medium bottles, medium size bottles, body bottles, in cups. In future, I think there can be, I mean, uh, the vendor machines placed in Colombo at least, as in developed countries, then we can put while traveling, uh, while riding, while walking, we can insert a coin or not and can buy them. Those are some uh, different aspects of the substitution of uh, presenting the products or services. If that is high, the customer, the rivalry among the competitors also, no? High. Then other competitors also can. Uh, use those things. Now, commercial banks have been using those things, no ATM machines. No. Earlier, we used them uh, only for withdrawal money. Now, we can uh, deposit money, deposit check on uh, 24 hours, on seven days. Uh, it is good for the company as well no? to expand the business and to reduce cost. Both uh, can be benefited. Both the company and the customers and stakeholders all can be benefited. Right. The next one is the bargaining power of suppliers. If this is high, the competition, eh, 
competitive level of among competitors also going up. Right. Uh, I think that uh, company has only uh, one supplier, one or two suppliers. Then it has less bargaining power. The supplier or the supp two suppliers have more bargaining power. If a company has uh, more suppliers, ne? not only one, then more bargaining power goes to the company, less to the supply. That's how uh, the impact of these uh, four forces ne? to the fifth one or the first one can be uh, analyzed, identified. Therefore, overall, this model, ne? five force model uh, introduced by Michael Porter, can be used to understand the industry competition or market competition of an organization. If there are different SPUs, this model should be used uh, over different SPUs, no? one by one. Because as we uh, mentioned about, identified about, uh, different SPUs have different uh, competitive position, no? different uh, even managers, product managers, different customer groups. Right. Different suppliers, different new entrants, right? For them, not the same. Right, that's the reason. Therefore, today, you no. Know, in future, this can be uh, used to understand the industry competition level. Right. Then, uh, Michael Porter has introduced uh, these uh, three generic strategies also you know, that even modern companies can use them. But practically, uh, these three should be used together, not one at a time. No, sir. Reason is modern customers try to buy high quality products, more differentiated products at a cheaper price as with uh, minimum effort. Therefore, all cost leadership, differentiation, focus, or market strategy should be used, utilized together. Right. Then, uh, in using the cost leadership strategy, the organizations try to uh, present efficient, ne? efficient facilities and uh, reduce cost. Uh, and uh, they try to present uh, the product for the service more efficiently ne? than competitors. Right. Then they can get you gain uh, cost advantages ne? in the long run, even. Right. That is only one aspect. Right. That using the differentiation strategy, the companies can uh, distinguish their products and services, right, from others in the industry or the market through different ways, no? Even product, product, uh, four pieces, ne? Four pieces can be used. First, they can use the product. We can uh, present the new features to the product, right? Then uh, they can, the price was considered here above uh, and the cost leadership. The other three pieces can be used. The next one is the place, place or the distribution channels, ne? also can be used. Now, most companies are using new technologies, online market to deliver product, right? Then uh, they can use the promotion. New promotional strategies also, no? The integrated marketing communication strategies, advertising, uh, personal selling, sales promotions, direct marketing, web marketing, ne? different things. Those are called integrated, integrated the marketing communication methods. Right. Yeah. Then that's how differentiation strategy can, can be used. The price should be taken uh, to the first part. To present the cost leadership strategy. Right, then uh, focus strategy ne, should be used uh, either uh, with the cost leadership for differentiation. Right, the low cost product or the differentiated product should be made available no, in any market to different customers. That's what I mean, big companies like Toyota, Honda, McDonald's. Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola have been using no? focus strategy. Nike, Adidas, they are using these strategies. No? McDonald's, Pizza, uh, Procter and Gamble, uh, Samsung, Nokia, 
all these uh, giant companies are using focus strategies no? to increase their world sales. Toyota is a very good example here for this. Use all these uh, three strategies together. No? Uh, it started with the first leadership and uh, introduced a differentiation also. Now using the focus strategy also no? to access uh, the world unseen uh, marketplaces. Now in future, these companies uh, should uh, come up with uh, new uh, alternative engines, not uh, fuel engines, no? with alternative engines like solar power, electric, uh, hydrogen, and so on. Now research and development is done. I think Toyota has already finished that no? with the price, price model. Toyota price model. No? But the first uh, first of the demo would be higher than the normal full base in the vehicles. No? Day to day running cost would be no less for customers. Therefore, I think in the future, soon no? they will uh, more look into buy those uh, electric vehicles. That requirement here is uh, much uh, seen with the more accumulated uh, uh, used vehicles no, in uh, sellers, local sellers. No? They are facing a huge problem of uh, first of uh, loans. Eh? Loans. Now bankers have increased eh? the initial agreements with the new rates. Because uh, they might be using the floating, floating agreement. Then uh, companies, uh, customers cannot reject them. They have to go under that. But now currently without selling uh, vehicles or selling uh, only few vehicles per day or per week, they have to incur a huge uh, interest cost. They are, most of them are loss making. Right. Then uh, that uh, comes from the customer side. Because as uh, customers, no, we think of using, buying those alternative vehicles, not uh, full based vehicles in future. Because our cost of running is very high due to the increase uh, fuel prices in Sri Lanka. In uh, next week, also, I think they will increase the uh, petrol diesel price again through the formula. Then there's a uh, Good opportunity for starting business in uh, power and energy area. That field, no solar power. Have a lot of companies even now who are introducing, who are marketing that uh, home appliances, home electrical appliances have now added no? that line of business also for their businesses. Solar power. Even Samsung, so, no, no. Singagiri, no? Singagiri has started, Haley's has also started that, Singer has started. Because uh, to consume their products, uh, what is uh, mostly required? Power, no? power, energy. In houses, in uh, uh, companies as well. Therefore, it is a related business for them. This could have been, uh, I mean, uh, uh, introduced long ago by these companies. Not now. But they have produced uh, at this that uh, step by step, no? Introducing uh, green, green practices, green marketing practices. Even LG started that. Right. Then uh, support the Business level strategies, as for the today's session, we have to consider the functional level strategies that we discussed in our previous lesson of planning. No? We are the action plans. If this is the case, but uh, in our general plan, general planning process, we consider the action plans in the fourth, third, third, third stage. We have plan, plan operations come. But uh, 
in the strategic planning process, action plans can be considered even at the functional planning level. Because uh, these are to support the business level plans. Right. Then main, major organizational functions like marketing, production, finance, human resource, research, development, uh, ICT, etc. should uh, deal with this. No? Right. Okay, that's how uh, our complex uh, strategic planning process, so management process and the elements should be identified. But uh, covering the previous lesson, no, made uh, to study this one easy, easy, you know. But practically, this is the starting point. Organizations should be able to complete the strategic plan first. But for our Convenience, net comfort. Uh, we did that first and uh, sort of uh, doing this today. Right. Then the, this is the last learning outcome. No? So consider these uh, new trends in strategy. I have identified three, four, three new trends. First one is uh, considering the strategic flexibility. Right. Here also, no, as we discussed in the portfolio strategy, uh, right uh, balance uh, between no, strategic stability and strategic flexibility should be kept on in, the, in a healthy manner to deal with uh, good times as well as the bad times. Right. To respond to the environmental changes. Right. Therefore, I think in doing changes, I think first managers should know whether it is uh, required now. The change is required or not. They should not uh, do uh, changes blindly, but they have to identify the scenarios, analyze the scenarios and the need. No? Then adaptable strategies should be developed. Even to address this, uh, we can consider that uh, uh, four culture oriented uh, strategies we considered in the first lesson that can be considered here. Even uh, they are also we considered the environmental nature, ne? whether it is uh, stable or volatile. Then uh, in the other side, we considered the speed of the change that uh, the organization should consider. Mode, mode, ne? mode of the change, whether it is internal driven or external driven. The same thing uh, can be considered here to deal with this one, this trend. No? Right, the other one is the strategic uh, collaborations. Uh, in the third lesson, we considered no, the organizations can use uh, internal sources as well as external sources to uh, adapt to the external environment. As the internal sources, they can use uh, boundaries planning, boundaries planning roles and departments. The different departments can, and the key persons in different departments can do that, play that role. Right. Then, uh, as the external eh, external sources, we considered strategic collaborations, strategic partnerships. But in both the cases, I think, uh, what is happening? Strategic collaboration, no? In boundary planning, strategic collaboration happens in internal, right? In mergers and acquisitions, joint ventures, franchising, licensing, the strategic partnership is happening external, right? Then a uh, lot of collaborative practices can be done no? uh, internally as well as externally. Most companies are now using online collaborations. Online collaboration. This started from uh, the software develop development areas, uh, operating uh, in uh, producing operating systems. No? OS, Linux is very good example for that. Microsoft, right? Linux, they did, but now. This met, uh, these practices are happening in all over the business, all over the world, in any area. Even education universities, I mean, government universities are also using lot of uh, collaborative practices with other national universities and private institutions, local and international. Uh, then uh, food and beverage companies are using multinationals like uh, McDonald's, uh, Pizza, they are using this. No? 
they have to sell their own products, but other products also, no, in the same outlets. Right. Uh, supermarket, uh, uh, you see, no, like uh, Kiri Super, uh, Kage Super, uh, Mini Supers, all are using these uh, business collaborations. Sometimes they directly buy eh, the fruits, vegetables from farmers. One way it is good, no, that they can sell fresh. In my fresh manner, as well as they can reduce the cost price. And uh, village people also can be benefited. Government is also happy about it. the task done by them uh, can be done by these business, private businesses. No? Right. Therefore, I mean, uh, to develop our country, I think a lot of uh, activities should be assigned to the private sector. It is not bad. Even now, even uh, Poor people respect that. No? It is not a matter of uh, spending money for them, but a matter of uh, having a good service for them. To stay a good life. Therefore, I prefer this uh, Sri Lankan railway to be privatized. In a good way. I we don't see, I mean, uh, errors in the concepts. We see the mistakes uh, or errors, right? Uh, in uh, using them, the way of uh, applying it, using them in our countries. The privatization is not bad, no? The capitalism is not bad. Socialism is also not bad, but we are trying to misunderstand them and misuse them. Right. Right, that's the role of uh, strategic partnerships as another trend in uh, strategic management. The last one is very important, no? Uh, uh, how to know how to deal with these uh, different uh, global business strategies. Then uh, two sides, two aspects should be considered, no? As per this diagram, one way uh, the organization for the company should be able to satisfy the global integration, global standardization. That means uh, that it should know how far uh, it should uh, present an homogeneous, homogeneous product, unique product or homogeneous product to the entire market. But uh, that cannot be done purely at 100%. It can be presented low and high level. Right. Uh, that's how uh, that quadrant, uh, that continuum should be understood. On the other side, uh, in uh, entering into the global markets, uh, then there are different cultures uh, appear. No? It is called cross cultural management, managing uh, business across cultures, across borders, across nations, geographical. Therefore, these uh, different uh, cross borders bring different cultural differences, cultural differences, or national differences. Examples are if uh, McDonald's eh, tries to enter into Indian market, it should analyze Indian culture, especially the food, food and uh, beverage habits of Indian people based on their values, customs, beliefs. Right. Then uh, overall uh, Indians uh, hate no, eating uh, beef. Therefore, if McDonald's uh, tries to include beef related items in their products, they cannot be sold out easily. They are banned to sell, sell out in a country like India. No? Right. Therefore, such a company ne, uh, in that country should uh, be more responsive to the national customs, uh, values. Indians uh, consider cattle as a noble thing, noble thing with their religious orientation. In Sri Lanka also to a certain level now, but we are moderate. No? For these as Sri Lankans. Any multinational can easily enter into a country like Sri Lanka now to say. We are moderate, very neutral. Right. When uh, McDonald tries to enter into Pakistan, it should uh, refrain, no? including uh, the pork related items in their products. Because Pakistan people hate uh, eating pork with the religious orientation. Right. Therefore, pizza hut, uh, any companies, ne, even 
cola companies should uh, consider these uh, national values, food taste, uh, legal conditions. Even a company like uh, HSBC ne, also should consider ne, what kind of financial regulations are working, what kind of macroeconomic practices are happening in the particular country. Then only it should uh, start ne, the branch network and it should introduce uh, the what is called uh, products with the uh, different conditions. Therefore, HSBC is uh, using what strategy out of this? Export, globalization, transnational, multi-domestic? Is it more into responsiveness or standardization or integration? It is more into the responsiveness. That's why it is considered as a company using the multi-domestic strategy. It's a mot it has a motto, you know, saying uh, world local bank. World local bank. Then it uh, uses more local responsiveness. That should happen, no? As a global commercial bank, financial institution, uh, that is uh, expected. But uh, the companies like uh, bankers, like international bankers, like Citibank, American Express, they are using more standardization, less uh, responsiveness. They have a less uh, clientele in the country. But it just has a more clientele in the country now. Right, then I will start from that. The company is using the multi domestic strategy and use market independent, you know, for each country. They adopt uh, products, adver uh, advertising campaigns to match with the uh, local needs and goals, local requirements. Therefore, their national or local response responsiveness is high. Yeah, that's why this circle has been placed here for the high national responsiveness. But they are doing uh, global indication also to a certain level, but compared to the national responsiveness orientation of them, it is low. Right, then the uh, right opposite one is the use of globalization strategy, where those uh, global companies are using more global orientation, less local orientation. Right, therefore these companies treat the world as a single market. They standardize global products and their other strategies, no? Throughout the world. Then what are the examples for such companies? Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola, even uh, McDonald's, Pizza, they are using more standardization. Pizza. Right. Less responsiveness. Right. Right. Then uh, the basic one is what? Using the export strategy. These companies have more domestic focus, not local focus, to export uh, their products or service only to a selected countries, few countries. Even now, some Sri Lankan bankers have gone to the South Asian countries, no? BOC. BOC has a branch in London also. Right. But anyhow, these companies are using uh, export oriented strategy, Sri Lankan uh, traditional exporters of rubber, tea, coconuts, spice. Even uh, garment factories are using uh, the export oriented strategy. But as as I said, these uh, popular garment, garments in Sri Lanka, like MAS, Brandix, even high company, uh, they are using those backward indication to provide their products to global uh, high end brands like Nike, Adidas, Marks and Spencer. And so, therefore, they are also part in that globalization strategy. Eh? the indication indirectly right but their original uh, intention is to uh, increase the exports and to earn uh, gain foreign exchange bring foreign exchange to the country right the best one is one the top one is the transnational strategy we are uh, the companies, you know, the giant companies, multinationals are giving the equal weight 
to the high standardization and high localization. They try to balance global efficiency and local responsiveness, responsiveness equally together. Right. The good examples are Toyota, Honda, then Philips, uh, Samsung, Nokia. What is Procter & Gamble? Johnson and Johnson, no? they have been using uh, this method. Even Nestle, Nestle, they try to increase uh, high global sales as much as possible. Unilever, right. That's how uh, the last point uh, should be understood, no? Even now, as Sri Lankan firms, no, as I mentioned, uh, they can uh, use integration. Backward integration and other methods, no? indirect methods, uh, not only to gain uh, uh, foreign exchange to the country, increase in exports, but to, I mean, appear as a global brand made in Sri Lanka. Yes. But uh, they are even uh, Good uh, tea brands in the world market, no, like Dilma, Dilma tea. It is very popular in uh, countries like UK, Australia, and so on. Dilma. But Lipton is a UK company. Lipton. They give bulk, bulk tea to them. They do uh, flavor, flavor. Those are available in other countries as well, Japan, China, under Lipton. It is another way to, uh, I mean, uh, not only to use the export strategy, but uh, we had a backward integration strategies. Even that uh, the airbag sensor eh, was found by our Sri Lankan. Eh? Uh, he got the patent, no? even from big companies like Toyota. Those are the new ways as to expand eh, our focus no? from export to other, other strategic alliances. More research should, should be done to do that. Then during COVID, I think uh, our Peradine University, ne, the professors and a team uh, found this one, no? this mask. It's very popular among even tourists now in Sri Lanka. Then uh, another cancer, cancer, anti cancer uh, medicine was found ne, by another Peradine University uh, doctor, doctor team. Is available in the pharmacy session. It was uh, produced with the seed of bitter pork, bitter pork, paravilla. Right. Now, research and development should be done at the national level no? and institutional level to do fine uh, new products, which can be, I think, uh, sold out to the world market. No? Even tourism, ne? our traditional tourism can be renovated with new methods like uh, what? Homestays, homestays, eco tourism. Right. I found a very good place, uh, even uh, there are a lot of foreigners ne? coming from different countries have much commented on that. Uh, sorry, sorry. I can't remember the exact name of that uh, homestay, very echo, echo lodge in uh, Yale area. 
they have said that, commented that, uh, no need of visiting Yala, stay around this uh, premises. to watch uh, uh, while the elephants and other animals, and to have very uh, important tourist uh, experience there. I can't remember the name. There are hundreds of photos uploaded by the uh, company. Even local to, uh, local people are visiting there. I can't remember the name. It uh, started with this. Sarai, Sarai, S A R R A double line. Can you check that using Google Sarai? Is it coming? That's the name given. Sarai Ecology or Report Family Restaurant or something. Sarai, ni? Uh, Sarai is late. Therefore, need not to go to the world market. In here, we can no, do uh, multinational marketing. In here, good area is the tourism. Because we are rich in that. Sarai village, no? Right. You also can try for that. With your family or oh. at least one day, eh? one night. I am not promoting that. Huh? Yeah, those are different ways, no? As to, I mean, uh, uh, to introduce, no? Implement these strategies, no? In our capacity at that small, small level. Sarai village. This is fantastic, no? So just have been based on trees, trees. Woods are fantastic, no? Uh, they have a very set menu type. Fantastic woods. <laughs> Different ways. Tables and arts have been placed on another, what is called Mesolius banks as protein, protein tables. And one more, one more place is another one, no? Right. Now, recently, no? Uh, the, it, it is based on a foreign investment. No. Sangilas. Sangilas. It is another one, good one. That's, these are different ways of no, attracting tourism and even local tourism. Local people. Entertainment area is the best one now to consider, eh? because people are facing a lot of uh, press level. It is a very good day. Only a single person cannot do that. No, different businesses uh, should uh, come to that platform. That is nothing else. No strategic collaboration. Strategic collaboration. Restaurants can be there. Next, the new film halls can be there. The computer appliance sellers can be there. Textile, next, fashion, fashion makers can be there. Jewelers can be there. There are restaurants like British, uh, British uh, restaurants, no? Japanese restaurants. And uh, another very good thing is the Nelumkulu. Nelumkulu, but uh, the stores should be started, no? Yet to be started. All these are very, I mean, uh, commercial hubs. Right. Any other questions or clarifications about this lesson? It's quite interesting, no? A lot of things are happening, no? Lively here in Sri Lanka as well. This uh, should be considered to develop our economy.
Now red ocean is over. No? We are in a blue ocean strategy era. Yeah. 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 Right, then I'll give some uh, revision questions here for this lesson also. Right, write down the uh, first question. What do you mean by, 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 uh, strategic thinking of managers, what do you mean by strategic thinking of managers? But uh, question mark at the end for that five marks. Uh, introduce that. Present an overview, overview of that. Right then. Uh, for, as the next one, I'll give some uh, short notes uh, to provide short uh, notes or short dis descriptions. Uh, right. Then question statement is uh, even in this way. Provi provide provide uh, short uh, descriptions on the following. Provide short uh, descriptions or short notes on the following. Even here, in a short note, a short description, if you think uh, the small diagram should be provided, you can provide this. Oh, no, no. Right, uh, first one, use uh, Roman numbers. To indicate this, first one. Grand uh, strategies. Grand strategies. Grand strategies. Then uh, the BCG matrix. Second one. The BCG matrix. Next one, uh, strategic uh, business units within bracket uh, SPUs. SPU capital, uh, small s. Strategic uh, business units in the, in the bracket SPUs. Short name. Right, next one, uh, number four. No? Strategic collaboration. Strategic Collaborations, singular plural. Strategic collaborations. Right, last one, number five. Global business strategies. Global uh, business uh, strategies. And provide the uh, meaningful uh, paragraphs on this. Then you can get the, uh, we have to give the mark, mark television. No? Five marks each within bracket. Five marks each. Total twenty. Right? right uh, that's how uh, we should deal with this lesson uh, at this level. But uh, when you do marketing management, strategic management, eh, similar things can be studied. Uh, uh, more deeply, yeah, 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 only forty minutes, ne? it is enough to have the peace.
But then I will uh, read out the name. There are newcomers, then uh, please uh, mention your name and the registration number clearly. Yeah? When your terms, turn comes. This is the fifth, fifth day, fifth one, eh? Fifth uh, piece for your class. You have done uh, four, four pieces. Uh, RH004. Uh, what's your learning for you today? Okay, those are similar words should be used, no, to elaborate that. Right? Big picture, long term perspective to gain competitive advantages, right? Those things. <laughs> Then uh, Yeshuda 006. Are you here? Today absent. The last day also, no? He was absent. Shade 184. What's your learning code? Like two brain and the and which is the the purpose of a sort analysis, no? To derive them, identify them. Pushpika, zero, two, three. In Western consulting group, to understand the corporate uh, strategy, um, the basic interest in the market divides, uh, uh, you can divide market, your trade and market share, yes, from that we uh, can divide our uh, industries and uh, business class. Situation marks and cash cows and dogs. Uh, when you talk about uh, cash cows, they have a uh, low growth rate, uh, the higher market share. Uh, when consider about the uh, in the uh, COVID pandemic period, the uh, tourism industry was collapsed drastically, uh, increased the tourism industry. Uh, the family, uh, Many uh, hotels and uh, tourism related uh, businesses. Uh, they have impacted from the control. Yeah, you give me this explanation. Right. Missanka, 50. Yes. Post purpose leadership, differentiation, and focus. Uh, Consumer needs the high quality product to give them low price and uh, want to uh, buy easily these products. And uh, consumer needs the value value to make compared with the other products. Therefore, companies uh, use this, this strategy to uh, complete, uh, fulfill their consumer needs. Practically, these uh, three should be used uh, jointly. Yeah? By a company. Right. This one is uh, Fonseca 045. 045. Absent. Fonseca, ne? Absent. Then uh, I have only the number 016. Is it available? No. Maybe shifted to another class, no? Bandara. Right. 
പക്ഷേ ആൻസർ Right, to identify a new point, uh, the new lesson we need completed there. Yeah. Next one, uh, D Silva, 001. സ്ട്രാറ്റജീസ് <laughs> ഫോർ <laughs> Uh, but in long run but in long run uh, they were transferring to the low scale ng is a must no always sandarwani 014 the absent afras 162 managers What's your date? Saman? Samar Dungu. Yes, ah, Samar Dungu. Sorry. That's Dungu, no? Okay. What's your answer? Strategies and Pan-Nature. Strategies, Describe Resources, Nation for the AC, Pindar, and then, then the Nation for the AC, Pindar, and then, and then, and then, and then, focus on the long-term goals. As I'm telling you. Include Market Group Strategy. ഫൈനലിജി ഇതൊക്കെ 
which are tricks. Yeah. Diversification There's a strong relationship, no, among this with the uh, uh, competitive nature of the common competitors, no? Fernando, zero six two. The end to the stick to achieve the long term goals of our organization. Uh, there we can go towards the long term goals of our business. Uh, too many strategies to achieve our long term goals, uh, such as the market growth strategy, uh, products development strategy, turnaround strategy, creation strategy. Uh, and then uh, these days, uh, every company turned around strategy for so their uh, company to be. Okay, they need to, they help uh, shape it the business, no? Right, brand strategies. Right, Peer is 007. Change the industry compression to uh, keep the particularly among existing competitors. Uh, mostly, they do uh, new interest in taking uh, uh, investment sector in uh, uh, current uh, Sri Lanka because the uh, university which uh, in education institutes introduced uh, try to enter the enter into the market. So. Uh, it is um, um, and current have a trend to keep their uh, competition and uh, power of buyers. Uh, yeah, perfect market, marketplace. Uh, consumers have the more power uh, within the market and the uh, number three substitute uh, product rate. I, um, Example is um, beverage market. Um, 
Lagi ini power terkakak ini. Lain dengan monopoli dua poli yang sering poli semangat. Power lagi ini seperti tablet. Ya, how about the green coconuts? Green coconuts are the substitutes of the beverage. Right, next one, uh, 002, Francisco. Deep point of uh, order stability strategy, it comes from the sense of strategy. Uh, it links with uh, four keys. It means uh, price will come under cost energy. The other three comes under difference. Price uh, means that uh, we must uh, reduce our cost, uh, which, means, uh, which will be uh, good in market and we must uh, be efficient in our works and uh, uh, other three pieces, uh, three, three pieces based uh, from the online markets, uh, new trends you can find out and the promotional means that we can have web marketing and direct marketing, you know, and uh, when it comes to focus, the strategy we must either choose the, either first leadership or different case. Sushan, zero two eight. Functional level strategies concerned with different functional areas in the organization. These include technical marketing, financial production, etc. The functional level strategy is a short term plan uh, for a specific not, aspect not of short term, medium term. Uh, it has been mentioned in that way, shorter, medium, medium. Level strategies, uh, medium term plan for specific aspect of, of the organization. Example, for new uh, advertising for new product, uh, a business. Uh, finally, all the functional level strategy are important to achieve uh, total organization goals. Now, medium term uh, should be recognized as for uh, no, no, annual, for annual period. Then, uh, Pausha, 0, 3, 2, they absent. Pausha, absent, no? Pereira, online, yeah? You came by online today. How? Pereira 013 is the number. <laughs> Not say. Ah. Ah, right. You have a D. Sorry? Yeah. Ah, sorry. Sir. You are there. Right? An online bingo also made the, made the mic on. Right. Okay. Yeah, what's your answer? Sorry. Currently, they are, they are like uh, as a land using plant and uh, carting services and outdoor advertising. I don't think they provide the service other than selling, uh, buying, selling trinkets. Yeah, plantations also, no? Yeah. You are using the hybrid mode, no? To the to come the classes. That is good. Next one, uh, Sandar Ruan. 037. All ah, right. Uh, uh, sir, online. can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, you uh, better increase your voice. Yeah, it's fine now. Yeah, IFOs uh, can hear, but the audience cannot hear you. Okay, okay, so okay. So that uh, 
BCG models uh, that uh, visualize that uh, corporate product portfolio of the company and uh, through this model that uh, management can decide uh, where to allocate the resources and uh, where to cash out and uh, where is the cash inject of the product portfolio. So my point is that it is mentioned that uh, product in the dock that should be removed from the product portfolio. Uh, but I believe that uh, with the synergy of the products and the product collaboration, these products can be continued in the portfolio. So what happened in that uh, Apple uh, product portfolio that uh, in the Apple watch was in that uh, dock. So what they did, they connected uh, Apple phone with the Apple watch. So then uh, now they have a good demand for this uh, Apple watch also nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Apple is also another good example, no? To understand uh, the way uh, of using the portfolio strategy. Yes, sir. But uh, it has a similar product, no? Not different products. No, so actually they have what happened that uh, Apple Watch was on the dock section. They was about to remove it from their product portfolio. So after that, ah. they connected that Apple phone with the Apple Watch. So whatever the calls and messages are coming to the Apple yeah, yeah. phone, now it is coming to the Apple Watch also. Now people are yeah, people more used to watch that watch rather than the Apple phone nowadays. Yeah, to practically use the portfolio, then uh, the next model uh, also should be used, no? BCG. Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why for understanding purpose only we try to know identify them uh, separately in Separate. different slides. But practically, you know, the company should uh, use them uh, without an order Correct. in a mix. Yeah. Then uh, Vik Vikramanayaka, no? the name is Vikram Vikramanayaka, number is uh, 017 absent chandra kanti 019 ah yeah you are using online My point is differentiation strategy uh, michael porter introduced uh, three competitive uh, strategies cost leadership strategy differentiation strategy and focus strategy uh, differentiation strategy strategies how to distinguish the company's product or service from competitors in the market. Uh, nowadays, firms use three P's uh, in support to uh, differentiation strategy. Uh, product, place and promotion. Uh, they introduce new features to the uh, existing product and also they um, uh, use new distribution channels uh, such as online marketing and uh, they uh, use new advertising uh, uh, like uh, methods like direct marketing. Can you also uh, do that personally to differentiate yourself? Mm, yes, sometimes. Yes. In what manner? What are the ways? You can have a new clothes, ne? new yes. hairstyle. You can use a new vehicle or something. Ne? Right. Yes. As companies uh, doing now, we also can do differentiation. Okay. Right. But behavior, behavior should be presented, not newly, on these uh, artifacts only. Right. Next one, uh, 034 absent, no? Maybe a number shifted to another class. Next one, uh, zero double two, then a call. You have, you have come on online. Yes, sir. Uh, good morning, sir. Ah, right. With a different name. Karuna say, right. Anyhow, your number is uh, remaining, no? Zero two two. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, what's your answer? So my uh, learning points regarding uh, new trends in strategy. Uh, in the Sri Lanka, currently, uh, we have a lot of uh, shortage of uh, dollar because we don't have a, a proper export market. So in this case, uh, government as well as uh, private organizations, they can uh, more focus the export market. For example, uh, vegetable and foods export and our tourism industry. 
uh, as well as uh, tea industry. Uh, so, it, so in this case, uh, we need to make a attractive uh, marketing strategy. But I have seen uh, in Sri Lanka, we have good quality products uh, to compete with other countries. But the issue is we don't have proper uh, marketing strategy with support yeah. of the government. Yeah, we have enough resources and capacities, yeah. uh, but we have to market them, no? Yeah, we have actually in, uh, enough resources. So for example, sir, so for, so for example, sir, Thailand, they have yeah. introduced the, the tender coconut, the king coconut. But uh, Sri Lanka also, we have uh, the, the king coconut. But the Thailand one, they are doing a lot of marketing. But taste is, our, our one is very tasty. But they are doing a lot of marketing as well. Yeah, yeah. So in this case, we need to improve our marketing strategy. Yeah, yeah there is a uh, well-noted one, no? Yes, sir. Though we have resources, uh, uh, good resources, yeah. so capacities, quality products. Uh, we have uh, not used uh, marketing strategies for attractive. Yes, as well as the tea industry because of the fertilizer issue. For tourism even. Yeah, tourism even. Sort of online marketing methods. And uh, <laughs> not only to market that, uh, we have to maintain the quality as well as the reliability. Ne? Reliability. You have yes. to provide a quality as well as a reliable service. Then only yes. they will come back. Yeah. The customer retaining can be done. Reliability is very doubtful now. Yes. Okay. Uh, you have accepted the zero double two, no? Zero double two. Right. Okay. Then uh, 103 is another number I have written earlier five bit uh, online. But today, I think uh, we don't see that number. No? In this class, also, no such number. Ne? 103 appeared only on the first day. After that, no, no appearance. Right, Surya Rati, 009. What's your learning point? About the focus strategy introduced by Microsoft. Uh, this aims at the choice of a narrow competitive scope within the industry or we can take the niche market. Uh, the focus strategy has two main variants. One is the cost focus, where the firm takes a cost advantage in its target segment. For an example, we can take Toyota Lanka, which focus on this strategy at the initial stage. This exploits the differences in cost behavior in company. Next is the differentiation focus in which a company sees differentiation in its target segment. As an example, we can take brands like Rolls Royce and Prada, which really focuses on high income earners. This exploits the special needs of buyers in certain segments. Uh, by carefully selecting and analyzing the segment and meeting the needs of that segment better than the competitor, a company would be able to gain a competitive advantage. Yeah, see, 0 0.3. Our elephant today talked about uh, what is strategic thinking. Where managers are supposed to think in a long time perspective and uh, should have a big picture of the market structure and how to consider how to fit into the market. And uh, there are some levels of strategic planning, like corporate level and business level and functional level of thinking. And uh, I would like to speak about product diversification, where we spoke about a lot. Uh, how managers are supposed to not only stick into one product. And uh, you take, for example, Unilever, they are into uh, many sectors. And like John Hill, they who started with a uh, tea plantation, and now they are into travel agencies and hotels and stuff like that. And surviving the markets. Yeah, to manage the time, I think I have a clear. Small point that. As you know, next one, Taranga, 003. 
తరంగు తరంగా నేను వెబ్సైట్ లో అర్లీ బాగ్ అరవింద్ <laughs> Okay. So every organization has to have a social 